What's up everyone and welcome to the new vlog. If we've hit 100k subscribers, thank you so much for that. If not, anyway. <laughs> Truthfully, it wasn't the way he fell in. It was how long it took him to get out. Anyway, I just had a call with Zavi. That went well and so hopefully some pretty cool things to come of that. I really need to film Ask Amar, but I don't really have it set up. And even if I get it filmed now, it won't really be ready on Tuesday like it's supposed to. So instead, I need to buy some more things for my house since I now live here. I need some glasses, so I think we're gonna go with the Anchor Hawking. Very name brand that I definitely know, glasses. It's $20, like, so cheap, I'm getting them. I found this slightly padded floor mat for 13 bucks. It won't be bad in the kitchen. So I found these at Costco, they are $100 $50 and I might get four of these. There's no way I can get them today right now, but four of these would perfectly be the size that I wanted from, from my U-line shelving. So I'm really thinking hard about these. They seem really nice quality. That it's, it's a metal with wood on top. Like this is exactly what I need. And then I can, because there's no like bars or anything underneath, I can perfectly fit uh, drawers or whatever for storage underneath. Like this would be amazing. I ended up measuring the table with the app and it looks like it's gonna work really nicely in my space. Uh, it's a lot better than the U-line table. So four of those will equal the exact, ooh, I do like that. <laughs> the, I already have one, the exact U-line table I was gonna buy that was gonna be 96 by 48. Like as soon as I saw the number, was it was a 24 by 48 table. I was like, these are multiples of 12, I'm in love. And I was like, perfect. So we're gonna get four of those. I don't know if I'm gonna order them online or hopefully my mom will come over with the truck and help me load them in or whatever. But one way or another, I'm getting those tables. There's a non-zero chance the Macy's here has a really good Toys R Us because this is a really good mall. I'm inside Macy's now and it's a three floor Macy's. So I think we need to go up to find Joffrey. I mean, they have lots of toys. I just, the Lego section at the Florida mall is just huge. Okay, here's some Star Wars. All stuff I've seen at Target. Someone took the clothes off of Grogu. Spoilers for Mando season three, maybe? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. How much are these? Let me guess, $12, $8. That's cheaper than I would think, but that's still too much money. What is this poverty Macy's Toys R Us with Playmobil, but not a single, not a single Lego set. I don't see one. They used to have them. Oh my goodness, they actually have none. Not one, yeah, not one Lego set. Isn't that wild? Wow, I bet that's crazy. All of my excitement was for nothing. Oh, Legos. It seems they've slimmed down their selection of the Dark Trooper set with no price tag. 20% off, ooh. Yeah, this is like the worst of the worst, pretty much. Oh, it's a two-in-one, TJ Maxx and Home Goods together. Their electricity bill must be really high keeping all these lamps on. They have this Funko Pop thing, and $10 seems like a really good deal for two Funko Pops and a base. I'm not a huge Funko Pop guy, but that seems like a steal. Time to find out if this was worth $12 at Costco or if I wasted my money. All right, I think that looks pretty good. We did a house thing. So I spent the whole day out of the house and finally get home, back home to film my Q&A. And I realized I don't have any of my SD cards with me. I have no idea where they are. So now I have to get back out to Target and buy some during rush hour. Well, I really hope they have the SD card I need. They should, I checked it, but you never know, it's Target. So this is my Target now, I guess. Um, I'm noticing none of like the big sets here have like the spiders on them for anti-theft. Like none of them doesn't matter what theme what set literally none of them so apparently i'm out of the crime ridden city of west melbourne <laughs> but today's february 28th so they won't have like new release stuff hopefully until tomorrow i might check just to get a vibe for how on point this target is going to be with releases this target even has a ps5 in stock that's kind of crazy i don't think i've ever seen one on a shelf in a store this is what I'm here for. Perfect. So I wanna to go to Costco today, which means I need to measure out my space again and figure out exactly how I wanna lay these tables out. So we'll use this tape measure and then I got some base plates over here that we'll use to kind of get a real feel for the space. All right, so I'm thinking one, two, 
three and four of these like Alex drawers. And then on this one, I'm gonna double stack it, obviously since it won't be blocking the window, potentially, um, always can change. And then here, I don't think a fifth one will fit. So in this space, I'll probably get some sort of display thing for now. And obviously things can change and shift around later on, but for, for this first build, that's kind of how it's gonna look, I think. This is the approximate like table surface area here. And I might like move it over one way or the other, whatever but this is kind of how big we're thinking. Um, it's gonna be a pretty big mock. It would, it would let me do about six by three. Not bad. Matt is already here and everyone's in line for Costco gas. This place is an absolute zoo. Matt's here, I got the big cart. We're gonna find what we need. Oh, wrapping Twitch. When did you get, oh, you got that for your for your league. So good at league. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need a screwdriver, so let me find, find what I need. I need a scooter to get my mail and oh, that is the Bugatti. it okay. is the Bugatti scooter. I was going to make a vlog called I bought a Bugatti. I'm not actually going to buy this one though, so I can't do that, but uh, that would be clickbait and that would be immoral. But you know, a Bugatti scooter apparently is a thing. Oh yeah, there it is. All right. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? Nice and solid. Yeah, it's 150. It was 190 online or something. So this will save me 120 or $160. So yeah, we're going to get four of these. Well, it, they should fit. They might all I can fit. Get, I can get four of these. Yeah? yeah we'll do it. two and two either way, but let's get two to start just so we're good. We can come back in. There's no way these don't fit in my car. I'm I agree, but do we really want to be stuck? All right, so we got to pull the seats down. Oh, nice, nice. So that the, the tables will fit. Hopefully I can get a couple and then my brother's car is right there. All right, so that's two in the, the back of mine. I could definitely, mm, I could probably get a third one. It's kind of like weird to see through the front of the car. Yeah. What is this, po police? You're the police now? So I'd been playing COD and I opened my computer earlier and oh, there's this set on lego.com. And so I just sat down and filmed the whole video about that set for lego.com and now I gotta edit it. It's like, uh, not even 1 a.m., perfect. And the Mandalorian doesn't come out till three. I got plenty of time. The goal for today is hopefully see the verdict for Alex Murdoch and build four tables. This is gonna be a bit of a pain, but hopefully it's doable. I want these done, because they're obviously a big part of this room that's empty, more or less, right now. I was a little worried this wasn't gonna line up, but I got these two in, and it's working well. They, they weren't difficult. These ones look a lot better than the other side as far as getting the screws in. But yeah, these tables are gonna to come together pretty easily. It's probably just gonna take me like, I don't know, 30 minutes each, and then I'll be done. I'm going with the lowest height on the legs to hopefully meet the size that I need. If not, I'll just make it a little bit taller. So we got one table down. It is fantastic. It's the exact height I would want right now. I could make it taller if I wanted to. I don't. So this is going to be really good. It's supposed to hold up to 800 pounds. Obviously, four together, 3,200 pounds. That'll be plenty. No way I'm building anything heavier than that. So these are fantastic and they're like solid all around. So really good find at Costco. And uh, that's one of four. Down. So a slight problem that isn't really a problem because I'm gonna have stuff on it anyway, but the tables aren't the same color like at all. Like this one's way darker. So yeah, that's not awesome, it's not ideal, but it's also not the end of the world here for what I'm gonna be doing with them anyway. It's okay. Table number three is done and it much more closely matches table number one's color, which now makes table number two look rather odd, but whatever. Uh, one more to go and then we are done. And like, this is amazing. I can't believe I have this much space. This is gonna be wild. Four tables are done. It's not like the room still has a lot of space, even though these are pretty four big tables. So this is gonna be awesome for building stuff. So with the tables now done, I'm gonna take a lunch break. And then when I come back, I'm thinking of starting to organize some of these Lego parts into the bins so I can prepare to build come April or so, once I have a lot more stuff done. I had to drive back to Melbourne and do my whatnot stream. And I was able to pick up some mail from the post office, which should be something pretty cool that I'll open in a video. It should be a big Lego Star Wars mystery box. So pretty excited to open it. Took me two hours to stream on whatnot and only about 50 minutes to pack all the orders and the other stuff I've already taken out. So we're looking good. I'm heading back home now. I need to get out of here. I'm tired. It's Saturday and last week I went to the container store to buy a lot of containers. And this week, all of that comes to a head where we will sort a lot of my Lego parts collection in here. In each of these, I'll be placing different sized bins, just kind of as it needs to fit. In the ideal world, hopefully, hopefully, um, 
this is going to be a great way to store my Lego parts and allow me to build some pretty cool things in the future. It also should be simple to like, if I decide that I want this drawer to be different stuff, I just take the box of stuff out or I need it to go into a bigger bin. I take it out, dump it in, then I can replace it with something else that needs less space. I have a lot of parts, like a lot, a lot, a lot that I bought, even though I don't build anything. So there's this with parts, all these parts, all these things. Like this is just a box or a bag of pick a brick cups, you know? And I'm, there's, there's more elsewhere. So we also have more containers here. I have a whole backpack and so we're all over the place. I have a whole backpack of pick a brick cups. Hopefully those have tape on them so they don't break. And then, uh, yeah, all, all of that has to be organized. So that's what we're doing today and the next day and the next day and the next day. And then, oh, I think there's more parts in here to organize too. Yeah. You, I don't know if you, well, you can see in there, but there are more parts. There's parts everywhere. And I'm sure there's still more at my house in Melbourne. So I have to go get those uh, throughout the week. But yeah, having all these parts organized, I bought six of those white drawers that you saw. And it's going to be awesome. So this will give you a pretty good idea of how things are going to look. Uh, we are just sorting kind of by size and part, so whatever fits where goes wherever. Um, I do kind of wish there was a subdivider I could get, because like some of these parts could definitely be subdivided and it would be okay. Um, you, you could live and then put other parts on the other side, but you know, it'll be fine for now. And also this is the sort of thing where I could just get this part in different colors and just put them all in one bin if it's a smaller quantity of part by color. So yeah, but right now this is looking really pretty. This is like really cool to me to finally have this sort of thing stoked. Progress update, obviously Hoth is uh, what I'm really itching to build first. And so a lot of white parts are sorted. I should have more of these parts on my table at home that still need to be like actually taken apart from my previous attempt at the build. So. We're going good here though. This is this is fantastic looking with the sorting. And here's the studs drawer thus far. We've got the one by one tiles and the one by one studs. I have a new and crippling addiction to Modern Warfare 2 ranked. I'm already a platinum two, but over here I am in between games just coming over, putting parts in. These are smaller uh, bricks, but so we'll go separate. But I'm putting parts in bins and then uh, moving along. So there's a bin. Here's the bin. This is gonna be so awesome when it's done. I'm stoked about this. It's already looking really cool as it is, you know, but when it's done done, oh man, it's gonna be dirty what I can do, hopefully. The system's so great that like, I find more of these really long red pieces. So I just take them from a smaller bin, put them in a bigger bin, and then I can continue sorting. It's so simple. I am in love. This is awesome. Easy, easy work. And then obviously as I get down to like all the miscellaneous parts in here, I sort them out to the smaller bins that they may belong in. So I need to break here because I have to go to my buddy Anton's birthday party. But the theme for his party is to dress like an old person. So I have to dress like an old person today. So we're gonna, we're gonna break away from this and go do that. I came to get Anton a card and Unfortunately, I don't have the new helmet sets because I'm still trying to get another. I need like one more Cody and one more Rex for a video I want to do, but they have the new display at least. Just not the helmets I need ready. So I was potentially going to get him a 100 year old birthday card, but I think it'd also be kind of funny to get him a love you grandpa card. I'm not sure which to go with. Probably grandpa. All right, here's my before and I'll... So we got the suspenders, we got the Kennedy Johnson 1964 America shirt, and then uh, the, the gray hair was a must, obviously, and I got a little, a little bit of wrinkles, you can kind of see it. I tried something, it, it kind of works, it definitely works, but it's obviously not the whole face. So this is the outfit with white Air Force Ones, because that's what old people wear, I guess. Oh man, this, is, this was just the birthday party theme. I'm along for the ride. I almost forgot to complete the look. I have the like Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. <laughs> it's Sunday and today is my first Lego release day from the new house. So I have a shorter drive than I have really ever had before. So it'll be nice to not be an hour and 10 or 20 minutes away from the Lego store. Being closer is nicer. And I did get some more sorting done tonight, but in that same vein, I'm gonna need, that's not a good example, some smaller organizers. So I'm hoping to go to the container store and find something that's about half this size. That's the smallest like tub I currently have. And so if I can find something about half the size of three by six by two, 
I'm gonna be golden. I checked the website and they do make one that's three by three. That's exactly what I need, so that's what I'll get. Looks like they overestimated how many people would want to buy a $500 Lord of the Rings set today. I'm looking for one thing and one thing. Oh, yes. Freshly stocked in a fresh morning in the Lego store. Very busy, obviously. We're going to get like six more of these, because why not? Only spent a cool 640, but five half packs, a Commander Cody. Uh, got this set promo. The stupid Lord of the Rings promo is a brickhead that any respecting Lord of the Rings fan already bought because it was only twenty dollars. They didn't make a unique set for this. That's really really lame. I guess it's better than the gunship with no promo and then the actual set, which hopefully is in this box. But I guess you can't know until you open it. Yeah, hopefully we'll see when I get it open. But it looks like there's going to be a giant dent on the front. I guess it won't beat the hole in the gunship box. Nothing ever will. But the box it gave me does not look too swell. We'll see. I have learned my lesson for the second time and what will be the last time here. I almost took this back. I should have taken it back to the store. I almost took this back to the store. I mean, I just, you're paying $500 on release day. At any other Lego store, they're giving you a discount because this is a damaged box. And they're like, bro, it's a little, they would never, like the Disney Lego store, they would never put this on the shelf. I'm pretty sure it's like against their policy. Just like, Ah, it's so ridiculous. I know people, oh, it's a box, it doesn't matter, this is inside. You're paying $500 for it. You should get a dang nice box. Like, it's part of the deal, man. Sucks. Just sucks. I almost brought it back, too. Next time I will, but, uh, you know, whatever this time, I guess I was going to throw this box out anyway. But still, you're paying $500. You should get a nice box. As I was putting parts away, I was just kind of feeling like I didn't have all the parts, and so I went over this box, and sure enough... There's more parts to put away, which is exciting because, like, this looks like uh, pretty good stuff overall. With more sparkly purple and, yeah, some stuff that I shouldn't probably have more of because I don't really need it. But there's some good stuff in here for sure. We'll get it sore. Ooh, big bricks in here. Nice. So I came back to the Lego store for a second day in a row, hopefully to get more Hoth packs because they're $12. Anyway, I got to pick a brick up with some parts. I'll park these into my bins later. So I had a much better experience at the Lego store today than yesterday, so shout out to the employees that helped me out. I got 12 Hoth Packs and 6, so I got 18 more Hoth Packs in one go, plus a pick a brick up. I got a box, and there should be something cool inside. Rivendell has been started, but I haven't gotten a lot done. So, it's a box and a box and a box. And because of the return of mini scale, I already reviewed the... Millennium Falcon modernly like a year or two ago, but I will now make an updated review on the Star Destroyer because it feels fitting. I think I bought from the right seller too. I'm going to have to note down who I bought from because this guy cares about how it gets to you. Like this is ridiculous. It literally was a box in a box and then this. So real good seller over on eBay. I really hope MIDI scales back for like years and years to come because this was my favorite dead Lego Star Wars subline and it's it's very fun to have back all like actually on shelves like the Nebula B figure was a promo but it feels like it's actually back this time so pretty excited to do a video on this and I think it still holds up to today I'm sure they could do better now they have better techniques but pretty good for its time back in 2010. I'm still sorting obviously and this is by far my favorite part of this system literally smaller bin bigger bin right and so I have more of these parts that I found, so all I have to do is, obviously they're just not gonna fit in here, take it from the smaller bin, take it into the bigger bin, and then I can take all of the new parts and also put them in the new bin. And that works all the way up. So this is a really good system that I'm happy with. I'm sure there's other good ones out there depending on who you are and what you do, but uh, I'm, I'm like over the moon about this. I can't wait to be done with all this sorting and it's gonna be an amazing, amazing thing to have sorted get it got a couple cool lego sets in the mail today and i got a couple even cooler ones coming tomorrow i'm gonna drag these upstairs so back to cod Woo! not gonna lie totally thought i got scanned when i opened the box and saw botanical collection set boxes i was like no way but no it's just extra wow this is just fantastic packaging these last couple days from things i bought online this is just 
just incredible. Jeez. Why couldn't the Lego Ambassador Network do this? This is really good. Uh, the guy who sent me this, you know who you are. I'm sure I'll reach out and thank you personally, but thank you. Appreciate it. This is very nice. This is beyond my expectation. And while this one isn't for me, this one is. I had to have the Up House. It's a classic movie. Very, very good. We have Doug, Russell, and Carl Fredrickson. Very great set. Looks awesome. Very excited about it. I know a lot of people have submitted like Lego Ideas projects for this over the years, I think, but this is just phenomenal looking here. I'm I'm in love with this one. I can't wait to have this on the shelf and set up. Ooh, it's beautiful. So this is where we're at for the potential setup. Table in the middle, obviously, being for reviews. And I still am not sure if I really want to use the wood grain table because I've been doing the white table for so long. But temporarily, it might be okay. I do have a white desk downstairs, but the desk is also lower. So it would have an even lower angle. And then you're going to be like seeing underneath the tables in the background. It'd be more like, yeah, more like that. That feels weird. I would rather have it be up a little higher. I don't know. It's not like the biggest difference, obviously, but it could be, could be a difference that I think matters. And so I think ultimately I'll stick with this slightly higher table, uh, workbench table and do my reviews like this for now. Hope y'all enjoyed my vlog of getting more stuff into my house. I definitely had a great time, but it's time for me to start a new vlog. So leave a like on this one, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you so much for very close to, if not over a hundred thousand subscribers at this point, and I'll see you next week.